everyone, welcome to our Understanding Dementia video series brought to you by Fairy and Community Mental Health. I'm Nicole. So last week, I've covered some topics about the risk factors on dementia. Today, I'll be bringing you through what are some things you can do to prevent the risk of getting dementia. One can stay active by engaging in regular exercises as this reduces the risk of developing dementia by almost 30%. For Alzheimer's disease specifically, the risk was reduced by 45%. One of such exercises that have shown to be effective is aerobic exercises. And if possible, you can do it for around 20 to 30 minutes, several times a week. Other less rigorous exercises could also include brisk walking, cleaning or gardening. We are also aware that diet plays a part in reducing the risk of dementia. By having a nutritious diet, we can reduce the three highs which are high blood pressure, cholesterol and sugar level which in turn also reduces the risk of getting dementia. There is no specific food that decreases the risk of dementia but diets that include leafy greens such as spinach, blueberries, nuts, fish that contain omega-3 fatty acids could be helpful in the prevention of dementia. Thirdly, maintaining a healthy weight and BMI. People who have a high BMI or are obese are also at a higher risk of developing dementia. Obesity could lead to cardiovascular disease, cognitive disabilities and other issues. Hence, by engaging in regular exercises and maintaining a healthy diet, the risk of dementia reduces significantly. Another way of reducing the risk of getting dementia is to keep yourself mentally active by engaging in brain-stimulating activities. You can keep your mind active by challenging your brain. Such activities could include playing Sudoku, reading books, learning or picking up new hobbies, or even just doing crossword puzzles. These activities stimulate your mind and keeps it active, thus preventing cognitive decline. Next, staying socially engaged. Keeping yourself socially engaged through interactions with people like your family and friends, volunteering, or even just joining the senior activity centres are helpful ways in reducing your risk of having dementia. Last but not least, reducing alcohol consumption and smoking. Excessive alcohol consumption actually increases the risk of stroke and dementia. You could substitute alcohol with healthier options like soft drinks that are low in sugar or water would be the best choice. Smoking also does a lot of harm to the blood vessels in our brain, affects our heart and also our lungs. Thus, by reducing alcohol consumption and smoking, it also greatly reduces the risk of having dementia. I've covered on how to reduce the risk of having dementia and hope that you've taken away some useful information. We thank you for supporting our series on understanding dementia brought to you by Failure and Community Mental Health. I'm Nicole.